Hi guys! Well today, or this evening, we're doing an unboxing video of none other than May's BoxyCharm box. Yes, I know. I'm right on time. So we're going to unbox it and try it on. So if you're interested in how I got this makeup look, just keep watching and see all the goodies that came in the box this month. Hi everybody! So I'm coming to you for something really exciting. Boxy charm! I was really excited about getting this box. I really love it when you open it up and it goes Hello, Charmers! So cute. Anyway, let's get the technical stuff out of the way first. BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription, $21 a month, and you get five uh, full-size beauty products. That can be uh, makeup and skincare. So, that is is i love that box it's it's really nice um it's really good products some names you might know some names you might not and they do cut you can have variations on your box now i just want to tell everybody subscribe subscribe okay seriously though let's get into this box so Let's see what fun little things are in this box. Ooh, I see something pretty. We have a palette here from Alamar Cosmetics. Get the little tapey thing off. And this is the Color It Blush Palette. let me tell you the colors are way more vibrant in person than they are on camera so you have three blush tones um, this particular palette is for um, medium tan skin tone and as you could probably say well Lynette you're not medium tan you're not tan at all that is true but I changed my profile to specifically get this color because I thought that the light fair to light shades would wash me out and the dark you know obviously I'm not dark but and the dark shades are much deeper but so let's swatch these and before we get into it can you see the cute little Alamar logo on there? Okay, so. I don't know if you're going to be able to see these very well. This first one is called Seclusion. This one is Isla. And this one is Toasted. I'd really like to be toasted right now. Joke, joke, joke. Okay, so. The swatch might be a little bit better. Now, keep in mind, we are looking at blush. So, these are really nice and nicely pigmented. And so I'm really looking forward to trying them out. The next thing in the box is a lip liner pencil by from Vintage by Jessica Liebskind and it's in the cat it's a cashmere lip pencil in the color mocha so here we have that and 
I'm going to swatch a little patch on my hand so you can see it. I don't know about that one. But I am really not a big fan of pencil lip liners either. The next thing in the box is from Ciate London, and it is their Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Cupid. Ooh, Cupid! Cute little packaging, little stars all over the packaging. Ooh. And here we have, it looks kind of purpley in the tube, doesn't it? And from what I've read about this, it's supposed to be like a color shifting um, cream eyeshadow. So it's very wet. Very wet. So here we go. Little lilac action on the hand. But when you, let's see if you can see this a little bit. I don't know, but it shifts, the way the light hits it, it shifts between that lilac color and gold. So, goodbye! The next thing we have in the box is a lip polish, I believe. Oh, sorry, a lip gloss from Steve Laurent. More shiny packaging that my camera is not picking up. Goodbye! In the color Posh. So here we have it. It's a very, like, I'm not even sure how to describe this color. Mm, it has a good smell. You know what it smells like? You know those um, uh, coastal, whatever, gold coastal or whatever, um, the um, publisher's clearinghouse lip glosses that I reviewed a few videos ago? It smells just like that. Doesn't? It's not a bad smell. But it's definitely a, a, a neutral. Definitely a neutral nude. Kind of has like a brownie orange shift to it. And as you know, red is my color and red is my thing. Reds and pinks. I do not believe that I'm going to be liking this shade, but we'll see. We'll see. And then the last thing in the box. Is something I was so excited to see. It is by Glam Glow. Ooh, look at that packaging. It's gorgeous. You know what I really hate is when the packaging on the outside is so pretty and then you open it up and it's just got a generic container in it. Yeah, I hate when that happens. So let's see. Oh, the packaging on the outside matches that that oil slicky color. So let's see. Check this out. Oh, I was trying to open it and It really doesn't have a scent. Okay. So I'm going to tell you what it says here on this Glam Glow. The Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser, blended with amino acid um, with oat amino acids, conditions deep cleanses and face makeup remover we shall see 
we shall see. It says the ultimate daily conditioning cleanser to gently but effectively clean skin and remove face makeup and daily impurities. Oat, oat can't talk. Amino acids condition the skin while gentle bubbles deeply cleanse and dissolve makeup. Blended with apple extract, vitamin E, and teoxy green tea leaf, this gentle foaming cleanser inspired by the rainbow aura of bubbles is mild, soap-free, and SLS and SLES-free. Okay, and avoid the eye area. So, I'm really excited about this product. So we shall see. I'm going to check this out. Okay, I'm back. Naked face. I just tried this cleanser. Now, it says it's the Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. I'm telling you, there was no bubbles. I don't know why it's called Gentle Bubble, but no bottle bubbles. No bubbles were there to be had. But my skin does feel nice and cleansed. It did take off my makeup. Um, I did use it to take the makeup off my hand. And I will tell you that I had to scrub quite a bit to get the, um, the lip liner and the lip gloss off my hand. But um, it eventually did come off. But I would not use this as just a makeup remover. I would remove my makeup and then cleanse my face. So I'm going to pop off screen for a minute, put on my eyebrows so I don't look all crazy, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my eyebrows on and I had to adjust the lighting a little bit because the paleness of my white face was so ghostly white it was terrible. So, did that. Alright, now let's get into it. First of all, let's, let's do um, the eyes. Um, I think I'm going to lay down a base. Um, I'm not going to be able to totally do, you know, I, I can't do just one eye look with, with just this. So I'm going to reach into my fancy bag of tricks and I am going to get my, um, Alomar Cosmetics Palette Rina del Caribe Volume 2 This is what this looks like if y'all don't know I think I'm going to go into this um, pink shade for my and it's called Flamingo I think I'm going to go in with it for my crease I think I'm going to go in with um, this um, Thera Brushes um, Large Shading E um, 65E Large Shading Brush. And I'm going to be dipping into seclusion. This is a little bit um, peachy. So. I'm going to lay down a nice little 
base, a little cover fire, if you will, for my, um, for this liquid eyeshadow. And I love liquid eyeshadow. I really do. It's, um, it has so many uses. You know, you can go light, you can go dramatic. Okay, we're just gonna put on here. Okay. Do the other side. Wow, that's really picking up a gold shift. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to take my happy little brushes. I just had almost all my brushes are dirty, so I don't have a lot of nice brushes right now that I can use. In the, um, the eyeshadow palette here, I'm going to take the shade Cali I really wish I could speak Spanish. It's such a beautiful language. But I'm going to take this black. And I've decided I'm not even going to try not to murder the pronunciation. Because I, I so would murder it. I like that. I like that. Okay. I'm not going to put on any... Oh, crap. I just decked my finger in there. I'm not going to put on any um, any foundation right now. I've been kind of... I've really been liking the um, minimalist makeup look. I don't know why, but I just have. So, I think I'm going to try and take seclusion again and just kind of kind of just you know where the the sun would naturally hit the chin it's fairly a light shade and I think you know what let's go for the drama so, we're going to take the toasted shade and put in the apples of our cheeks. Can we see anything? Maybe not. Let's try a different brush. Sometimes, these are those duo fiber brushes and they're really super soft. But unless you're using a cream color, see, I'm still not seeing any really color. I don't know what I have. Okay. Let's try the Big Daddy Bare Minerals all over face brush. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. You know, I really love blush, and I am always putting on too much blush, but I don't think this is just, that's not too bad. Okay, so, put on your glass so we can see what we're doing. Alright, <clears throat> so, now, we're going to try to see what we can do with this lip liner and that gloss. You know, I'm just going to line the lips and 
Oh man. Oh, that's atrocious. So I don't hate the lip liner color. Okay, this is exactly what happens when you try to do your makeup with your computer screen and not a mirror. Do I suggest you do that? No, I do not. But for right now, that's what we, what we got to work with. Okay, so let's check out this gloss. It's not the way I usually put it on, but that's the way we're going to work it. Okay, so now we just have to put on some mascara and check out the prices. Boxy Charm for May. The theme for this month's box is Make Waves. Okay, so let's talk about what's in the box. The Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser, gentle but make it bubbly. The Daily Conditioning Gel, gently but effectively cleans the skin, dissolves makeup, out amino acids, condition, while the vegan formula with apple extract, vitamin E, and green tea extract bubbles up to deep clean and remove impurities. Soap, fragrance, and SLS and SLS ES free, all skin types approved. Now, this retails for $28. And let me tell you one thing this does not bubble, but it's a good cleanser. Now, I have mad love for Alamar Cosmetics. So, This product here from Alamar Cosmetics is the Colorette Blush Trio. Get your blush on with your new Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Brush Trio, Blush Trio. Formula, formula, I can't talk. What's wrong with me? Who knows? Formulated to glide effortlessly over your cheeks, this buttery, smooth, highly pigmented, and completely vegan formula delivers a sun-kissed blush without the damage of the rays. Retails for $22. Now, I absolutely love these colors. They are stunning. So, and this was in, did I tell you which? It's in the, um, the color family medium tan. Next, we got something that I've lost already. Here it is. From Ciate London, the Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. Your new Ciate London's Eye Luster will help you create long lasting shimmery eyeshadow looks. The metallic Glittering liquid shadow can be sweeped on for full coverage. Blend it out for a sheer sparkle or applied over eyeshadow as a topper, which is what we did. Um, I really like it. Um, mm, uh, my first impressions are, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. But I'm going to have to play with it a little bit to really get it to work. Find the right, you know, mixture and balance with it. Um, but this little tube retails for $22.
And then the Steve Laurent lip gloss in a shade that on me I think is hideous. One part balm, three parts silk. This Steve Laurent gloss is never leaving your favorite purse. Oh, really? I'll bet ya. I'll bet ya. Formulated with a creamy lip softening texture, this one of a kind hybrid gel and oil will moisturize and hydrate your lips with just one swipe. Retails for $22. Now, if it would have been in a different color, I probably would have liked it. But it's kind of a heavy gloss. And I'm not really liking that. I like my glosses to be a little lighter. And when I talk, it kind of sticks. So that's a no for me. And then the vintage um, lip liner pencil by Jessica Edeve Skin Cashmere Lip Pencil. Your new vintage by Jessica Liebskin Cashmere Lip Pencil delivers natural looking definition with minimal effort and maximum precision. The velvety smooth formula glides on lips without tugging or pulling. I'm going to call BS on that one because it was really tugging on my lips. But look, I have I'm not really a lip liner girl. I have some, I have brands that I really like. And sorry, Jessica, you're not one of them. So I believe because my math is bad, the retail total of this box was $109 and I paid $21 for it. So, technically, if I would have bought this one product, it would have paid for the box. So, that's all for that. So, if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this new content that we're delivering for you, comment down below. As always, Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time that we upload a new video. Until next time, we love you guys. And that's all for Lynette's Beauty Box.